This learning object is a production of Abu Dhabi Men's College, Center of Excellence for ICT and Learning Technology. The best thing about the conference is the people. It's um, just an, an opportunity to meet so many vast, interesting people with so many different stories from all around the world. Um, you know, people who are young, who are vibrant, who are enthusiastic about the world that we live in, um, and you know, who, who are out there to try and make a little bit of a difference. So it's, it's a great chance to meet people, to share ideas, and to find out what other people in the world are doing. Um, I think the best thing about the conference was just being in this type of burgeoning city where the environment is, like, everything is relatively new, um, the economy is just kind of taking off, know, depending how you look at it, and then just people are just so nice and friendly. Everyone comes here in the same spirit. So it's just those two, the environment combined with the people, it just creates this dynamic. It's just, you feel it, you know? Well, the, the one main thing I think that's um, really had a lasting impact on me was we had a speech this morning from um, a South African wilderness um, environmentalist mm -hmm. and he really harped on about um, or really spoke about um, a peer mentorship within uh, learning from everybody and providing, gaining knowledge from everybody who's your peers, not only from academics at university, from people who have been there who have done that, but from people who are going through the same experiences as you. Okay. And I, I think that's a really important thing. Um, when I go back to Australia, it'll be a great experience just to be able to sit down in small groups and to discuss things together and to be able to guide each other across the journey. My aspiration, my aspiration is just, like, that we're all still doing okay. Like I think right now we're lucky enough that, at least me personally, that the global crisis, like, economic crisis, hasn't really you know, impacted the general standard of living of me and my friends and family, which mm -hmm. I'm just very grateful for. So I hope we can kind of see this through and make, you know, generally raise the uh, um, awareness of, you know, what's going on for people who are less fortunate. Yeah, I've yeah. had a great opportunity to get to know people and to meet them yeah. and to Any to big surprises things. with that? No, not really. Okay. Not really. I mean, every, every, you expect to come to meet people who are friendly and who are open, and, and everybody has been. My favorite part about the UWB conference so far is absolutely about meeting people from all over the world and uh, you know, just seeing places I've seen on the map and places that I've read about really come alive through the people that I've met here. I, I think this, this conference has given us a, a lot more awareness of what's going on in parts of the world where we're normally not exposed to and the spirit of the people is very encouraging. You can see people are really brought together with a common goal of improving the world in general. I'm thinking, it's, it's a very uplifting uh, uh, atmosphere. My aspirations for 2030 is, I, well, I'm studying medicine, so hopefully I'll be able to be a doctor and to be able to actually make a difference in the world, okay. to actually do something to help people and to move the world along. Well, uh, when I go back to Denmark, there are a lot of new impressions I take with me about a place that nobody really knows re um, how it is in reality. Um, we all know something about this, this Arab world, and we think we know a lot of things, but it's only through the media, so very few of us have been, actually been here. And I take, I, take, I take some very authentic impressions with me, very positive impressions. Um, my favorite part of the conference uh, so far has been um, uh, the talk that the, um, woman, uh, the Iranian woman who went into space, um, that, was, that was my favorite part because I felt that it was something very genuine and um, it wasn't just about her. She, you can see that she was genuinely invested in um, inspiring youth and um, making sure that um, we use our imaginations, which I, um, which I particularly found to be um, inspiring. I think that education, environment, and what was the third one? Global global economy. I think they're all kind of hand in hand. And it, you know, if you with a really broad definition of citizenship, I think you could really take all of those together. Um, it's really just about international solidarity, intercultural understanding, recognizing that this is a shared world and that everything we do is really going to affect someone else, uh, whether or not it's local. I, feel I will be, in, in 20 or 30 years, uh, it's quite hard to, to predict it now because the world is open to me as I see it today. I will start to do my PhD uh, thesis in, in July, so it will be like in three years time I'll still be, I'll still be at the university. But then, if I choose this academic track, I will definitely not stay in my region uh, for the first time. I will, I will try to, to walk around, um, or travel around and uh, teach here and there in order to 
you know, increase my my focus or fo focus on different regions and my knowledge about the different regions. So I see myself as maybe uh, like somebody like a guest professor touring, um, you know, the known world. I think that if schools are going to really do anything meaningful right now, they really need to repurpose education and that one of the biggest goals that education in the globalized world really needs to have is forging global citizenship. So I think that the EWB conference is a really nice start to to that movement. Um, yeah, really starting to make meaningful global citizenship happen right here. The Sheikh definitely has uh, touched on things that have been a part of my life already, um, especially um, about the global economy. I've spent my life on three continents, and so moving about and seeing how things have changed and also how everything has been affected, especially now with going to school and trying to figure out how to pay for the next year and with the financial crisis, there's nowhere to hide. You know, I thought, oh, maybe I can, you know, my parents can help me out, like from Zambia, but no, uh, you know. Everything is um, interconnected and everything is affected. And um, I think it's really important that education is being stressed, particularly um, cross-cultural exchange, like the Sheikh was saying, because that helps people to understand how in interconnected we are. And that also um, uh, bleeds into the environment, because I think a lot of people don't realize that the stuff that they're, they're, they're doing in one place can affect somewhere else. Like, we've had the rain in the desert that doesn't normally happen in March. That's because people have been doing stuff in other parts of the world and even here, um, you know, for decades without realizing the consequences well I, I these themes the three themes are, are, are really basic and they're interconnected you can't get one without the other you can't get save the, the, the planet earth without teaching the people and make making them be much better educated than their parents so I see I see it as um, I mean he describes something that that you need here but we, you can you can scale it up to the whole to the entire world whether it's the emerging markets today or the, the already established world powers or established um, markets which also are in need of qualified and very, very um, uh, international oriented academics. Yeah. Um, meeting the, uh, these other students has just affirmed um, what I've already experienced in my lifetime that like it's really important to know about um, things from different parts of the world and ev every um, opportunity to meet other people is a, an opportunity to, to learn. Education is not just um, in formal institutions, it's also in formal, in, in, in formal settings after the conference when you're sitting around uh, the dinner table um, uh, talking about different things. Things that you never even thought about can come up in conversation that you can then take away um, and then use that to you know further whatever it is that you, uh, you want to do. I've talked to a lot of people here and I was presenting a paper about post-war education in Guatemala and just talking to other people with uh, other human rights issues and other violence issues I think just this kind of very bottom up on the ground kind of partnership that we're forging right here is really meaningful and could produce change you know really meaningful social change if we to it.